Hey, everybody. Welcome to Pop Dust Presents. I'm your host, Brent Butler, and I'm here with Smithfield. What's up? What's up? <laughs> What's up? I'm Trey. And I'm Jen. Trey and Jen, uh, you both met, I believe, very young, right? In Texas? I was 10. He was 12. But, like, our families go back three generations. Yeah. So grandparents grew up together, parents grew up together, and then we grew up together. Would you have been friends otherwise, or is it because it was it was, it, it, it no. was an arranged friendship? <laughs> yeah. Totally, yes. We're we had to be friends. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, our grandmas may have not got along. It was forced upon you. Yes. And um, <laughs> wasn't until later in college that you 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 began making music together. Yeah, so I was in a band that broke up, and she was doing her thing solo, and uh, hit her up on Facebook. I keep it classy. <laughs> and uh, she DMs. Exactly, gets slide it. Yeah. before Instagram DMs, children. Um, I, I hadn't seen pressure. him seeing since we were kids, so I didn't even know if he was any good. It could have been terrible. So, yeah, I thought it was going to be a one and done thing. Where are you guys located out of now is maybe the better question. We have been in Nashville, Tennessee for seven years in June. It's going to be our Nash anniversary. Is that a, is that a phrase? We coined that term. Only in Nashville. Nashville. I coined that term. So. You have a Nash anniversary. You're in town right now. Are you playing a show? We had a show yeah. um, earlier this week. We played Joe's Pub. Very cool. And it was our first time to headline in the city. Nice. So, like, we just started touring maybe two and a half years ago, um, really when our um, song Hey Whiskey took off on Sirius XM the highway. Mm -hmm. And and the highway is like, this is the biggest market for it here in New York. So first show we ever played here, we, it was acoustic. Um, then last year we were opening for Granger Smith on his tour. And this year we we did the We Make Our Own Tour and it was our first time to headline. So it's pretty cool. It's like every year we like grow and grow. And it sounds like uh, the New York crowd was good for you? They were great, yeah. I love them. I like I said, I almost again, feel like... I never thought country music was, would be in New York City. Yeah, but it's almost like a cooler energy. Yeah. In a weird way. So the music, you guys have millions of streams already. The new single, Hey Whiskey, tell us a bit about that. How'd it come to be? So we put out our first DP in 2015, and uh, that's what Hey Whiskey oh was God. on. I, I don't know. Even, I don't even remember that year. I well, know. No one does. I know. It was Holy the end of 2015, November. So technically 2016, right? No, it's still Are you saying that November is technically the next year of any given year? Maybe. It's towards the end is what I'm saying. Oh, so let's just edit that, yeah, edit that part yeah. out. Just let's let not even acknowledge that we said she that. She knows how calendars work. It's, you know. Anyways, 2015, our EP came out, the first one, and it was actually fan-funded on Kickstarter, the whole thing. Came out with our second EP, and it's called We Make Our Own. And it's called that for a reason, because we feel like our path has kind of been very unconventional, and we've had to literally kind of make our own luck. It's okay, but don't you think it's a little insulting to all the people that funded you on Kickstarter? And then you're like, yep. oh, we make our own. No, After they funded that's a good, that's the a good entire point. previous project. That's a good point. You turn around, you're like, we did it all ourselves, by but the way. But we can mean very many things. Because we could be talking about we as in us and our fans. Well, pop music, you see a lot of indie artists like just make it on Very Spotify true. and break. Whereas country, you typically have a big hammer behind you, a big label behind you. And for Trey and I, that's why we say we make our own. Because with our fans and our team and everything we've built together... It's been without that, which is, there's not many acts out there like that. So it's very cool for us and very empowering. And that it's supposed to be an empowering message to people, whether sure. you're in music or whatever you do in your life. It's like, no matter how many no's you get or how many times people put you down, you can still achieve those things and yeah. make it your own way and do, do things in your own we, way. We were told once to never wait on anybody to do something that you can do. Yeah. So we've always pushed forward and never waited. That's good advice. Yeah. And 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 uh, where are you guys off to next after New York? The ACM uh, Lifting Live show. So we'll be in Vegas playing. We'll I see. like what they're doing with the award show thing. I yeah. mean, for me, I'm kind of like, man, you know, I don't. Uh, it's they're a little. In, they're in that make it or break it time. You know, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I say push, push forward. That's Who told you that? Like Smithfield told me <laughs> push forward no matter what. You know, you're in the subway. It's very crowded. I just. <laughs> Push, I push, I'm jamming people to the sides. I say, Smithfield told me to. <laughs> See, it's, I feel like New York will really get this message. So uh, what is the, the, the songwriting process like for you guys? You just kind of put your heart on your sleeve and you throw out what you're thinking about. And hey, if you don't like it, then you just kind of shoot it down and move on to the next thing. But um, it's just kind of finding what snapshot you're in at that moment. Next project that we're going to be working on is very different from what we just put out. But it just depends on what you're going through. Hip hop? The <laughs> totally. German EDM, actually. Um, yes. So, guten Tag. Yeah, I was going to say, too, like, 
Trey uh, plays guitar. I don't, but he's really great at melodies, and I'm really great with lyrics. So we make a really great team going in. I try to bring in an idea every time. That's not to say that Trey doesn't bring in ideas ever. It was implied. It was no, kind no, no, no. of what she said. It was basically, <laughs> that's basically what you. That was my take. But I feel like I have to bring what she my just said there with lyrics and and titles and ideas because I, I don't. Because he's a, he ain't bringing none of that to the table. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I check no. out about five minutes in. <laughs> and let them do it. You can noodle on the guitar no. a bit. Sometimes though, it's, it's our co-writer. It's not always us. So sometimes we'll come in and they're like, yeah, y'all's ideas are not great. And then they'll have a great idea. And then we write that. So it's different every time. Yeah. Always depends on the vibe of the room. And it's like a first date every time, you know? Those don't always go well. Sometimes <laughs> Speak for they go yourself. Great. How, do you, how do you guys decide who's going to sing? We spread the love. Um, yeah, I mean, just whatever suits the song the best. We don't get selfish with it. I mean, really, it's like whoever sounds the best singing the song, that's who's going to sing it. But yeah. who decides who sounds the best? That could be subjective. Me. No. <laughs> um, it just depends. I mean, it, I think the song just kind of lends itself. You, you know, like at some point when you hit that right key and one of us is singing it, you just, you know it. Well, okay. Also, our songs are, a lot of them are personal stories. So like If I Were You is a song about a heartbreak of Trey's. So right. when he brought that idea to the table, Thanks see for bringing what that up right again. there? Mm -hmm. um, obviously, he was the, the choice to sing that. And, and yeah. I just do the harmonies. And that's what's great is there's not really a lead singer in Smithfield. Yeah, I guess you you two are the core members, but what is your uh, your tour like? Or what what is the, the stage show like? We have our band that travels with us, and they've been with us for a little while now, getting pretty solid, thinking we might keep them. And um, it's kind of our traveling setup. It's a three-piece band. What I love is when people come and see us live, it's like, oh, my gosh, they light up when they go on stage. And every song has purpose. So even the covers that we play, like we do a 90s mashup. Mm -hmm. Because Trey's a rock and roll guy at heart. He grew up on rock music like Aerosmith and Goo Goo Dolls. And I love like Faith and Shania. Like I grew up on 90s country. So we, w even our covers like tell a story. So you get to know Smithfield even yeah. through cover songs. Because what's really truly uh, special about us is the blend of our harmony. You can have two really great singers. They don't always sound good together. And yeah. that is what Trey and I have, have always felt is very special about us. So we try to like capture that in our live show. Absolutely. Even just for a, just a moment. Do you ever harmonize in regular conversation with no. strangers? Is that, po is that possible? <laughs> I don't Can know. you harmonize talking voice? We could try it now. We should try, we should try it now. Mm -hmm. But we're still kind of singing. We're still cool. singing. That didn't work. I feel like we still wow. could learn singing there. And, that uh, was <laughs> the energy that you guys bring to when the, ha when that happens, <laughs> to we'll the know stage. <laughs> Tell us now about, about Hey Whiskey since. Um, oh, yes. That, that's one right, that's, that's what we're good thinking online. to get back to. I um, am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why you are I the am. interviewer. I just got whiskey on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Um, I mean, it would have uh, been nicer if you brought some shot glasses. For um, sure, but. Damn, just but it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> this is pop dust. You just swig from the bottle. That's okay. Now talk about how the song ruined this guy's life. Yes. With whiskey. Oh, so. Jeez. I had this idea <laughs> pop in my head just. You only miss me after whiskey. You only want me when you're gone. And I actually had a melody for it. It was really old school. It was really bad. So I brought that in. It's pretty bad. I sang it, and everybody's like, well, the idea is great, but we have a million songs in country music about whiskey. We don't need another one. And I was like, no, we're going to write this. And I just fought for it. And so I think between my stubbornness and Trey actually came up with the melody of it. So That's right. we decided that if we came at it from a different angle that you hadn't heard before, which if you listen to the first verse and you don't know the title, you yep. think, um, oh, this fool's cheating on this girl. Like, there's nothing mentioned about whiskey. And that was very purposeful. So it's really yep. cool. It's just a unique perspective. She's actually, you know, talking to the substance. And so often, um, us females, we like to blame. It's your fault, it's your fault, it's your fault. But it's so cool to hear it for once. She's she said it, not you. You're, you're so no, I'm just yeah. agreeing. Well, yeah. it's a different perspective, I think. You know, so. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, ha have. Uh, I, I hope you guys have a great, uh, you know, upcoming shows, and can't wait to hear some <laughs> new music. Thank you. Should we end so. in talking harmony with pop I dust? I think goodbye. we should. Oh. I'm out on this one. <laughs> I was gonna. I, I wanted to do pop dust and harmony, but it's okay. Right. We'll go for it. Okay, you just start it off. Pop dust. Pop dust. Pop dust. Pop dust.